Hey folks, welcome back to our video series. In this one, working with pages, we're just going to touch on changing content layouts. So let's jump into our Dreamweaver program and just talk about that for a second. There are a lot of pages that we usually include in a template package, especially if you get like a pro package. We're going to give you a lot of information, a lot of pages, a lot of different options. You may find that one page has a, a content layout that you really, really like, but you want to use that in another page. Or as well as, in other words, you want to include it and combine two content sections together. You can do that. There's a lot of mix and matching that you can do. So we're sort of providing some tools you can start with. And if you really want to be creative and advanced, you can take those tools or those snippets of code and combine them into one page or replace them from one page to another. Here's an example. Let's say our uh, home page. Here's a good example. Let's say we, we've got our home page, we like the header, but the content section isn't quite what we want. Let's just have a little preview of that right now. Here's a home page for us. Here's what comes in the template. We've got the four pictures, right? We've got the section down here and whatnot. But see, that's kind of cool, but we want to switch that up. It's not exactly what we want. <clears throat> so, but what we do want is we, we go to our, uh, our pages folder and we've got this home three page here. Now, funny enough, although the home three page uses the same slider, you could really just open up the home three, do a file, save as, and save it over top of the index page. So we could, you know, do this little trick here where we go to our website folder, we select the index page and we go save. And that actually saves, saves the home three page as the index page so that we would use that particular layout. Let me just show you what that looks like here. There we go. So that's our index page. So let's just, uh, we've got that page open in our editor. Cool. Let's just hit the refresh button here real fast. There's the same header. Slightly different uh, content makeup down below. You know, we still have the four boxes, but instead of the big pictures, we got just some text areas. So that's one way of doing it, of uh, swapping some content. You just find the page that you really like, save it as, or save it over top of an existing page. That's possible. But let's say, for example, no, we want to have a, a two column. Now let's go with a three column page. We want to use that three column page for our home as for our home page, but we want to keep the header. Three column page has a boring header. No, no, no action going on up here, but it's got the content sort of sections that we want because we want a very uh, text intensive or content intensive uh, home page here with these three different columns. Okay, so we're going to copy these columns in place of the uh, sort of default layout columns that come with the existing home page. Easy enough to do, believe it or not. And when I say easy, it's it's actually advanced, but then again, it's not. Once you understand the concepts and you and you've practiced it a couple times. Uh, it's a piece of cake. As a matter of fact, that's how we put the templates together is, is basically copy and paste and make a few tweaks and it's good to go. But um, let's just show you how to do this. Let's uh, open up our three column page. I'm going to pop it into the design view and out of habit, I'm going to get rid of my visual aids because they just drive me nuts. And then I'm going to go find, scroll down till I sort of find the content section uh, down here. Okay. And usually what I'll do is I'll just sort of put my cursor anywhere in here. Okay, and I'm going to use my quick tag selector to sort of grab a, a larger chunk of the code here. So we'll use that. There we go. There's the aside. I just keep moving along. And if there is more room to work with here, it might be a little bit better, but not much. If I move it all the way out, you can see here that you can actually start to read, right? And what we're looking for here is we're looking for this uh, this fluid container here. That really is the whole thing. But just to sort of, we want to sort of hone in on it in the design window, okay, because we're actually going to flip over to the code view in a second. And don't be intimidated by the HTML, the code window, because it's just a matter of copying and pasting. You don't need to know the HTML part, right? But uh, now that we've sort of selected the content area in the design window, we can flip over to the code view. And you see this div class of container fluid? Yeah, that's what we want to um, select here. Okay, we want to select that div class container fluid. And here's the here's the hint. Whenever you see a div class container fluid followed by the container followed by the row fluid, that is a typical bootstrap setup for an entire content section. Okay, or an entire content row if you want to call it that. And you can use multiple rows in your page. So you could have three columns, and you could have two, and then you could have a thumbnail 
gallery and all sorts of things mixed together in the same page. But how it starts is it always starts with the div class of container fluid. So we just sort of select that entire div container fluid and we copy it. Then we go to our, our index page. We're going to do the same sort of thing. We're going to find the content area in our page here. All right, we're just going to sort of click in here somewhere and then use this uh, div container fluid to sort of hone in on where we are. Perfect. There's our our existing container. We want to replace that with the, the three columns that we've selected. So typically what we could do is just from here we could just copy and once we go to our index page and we've selected our um, div class of container fluid. I sort of lost the one there, but uh, you can always go back and find it. So once we've selected it on our index page, we can just do an edit and paste, and that replaces the whole thing. So you go to one page, copy the div container fluid, go to another page, select that div container fluid on that page, and paste over top, and you're good. And what does that look like? Let's so uh, swoop over there, switch over to the design, scroll up. There we go, three columns, just like we were hoping for. Uh, if we preview this, so we'll save it, and we'll preview this in our in our example here, where we index, yeah, hit refresh, and boom, done. Instantly changes over to the three columns, and now we can just go ahead and edit the text and the content and make it our own.